I'm trying to think of something cool to say at the beginning of these videos. Like everybody has the, uh, you know, hey, welcome back. It's so-and-so and hit the like button and subscribe and all that stuff. But I can't come up with anything. I really can't. So I think I'm just going to start them. And then, uh, you know, by default, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to, or share it out for me on social media and all that stuff. So Sunset Overdrive, I remember being extremely excited for this game because Insomniac Games was doing something brand new and it was on Xbox and it was going to be incredible. Insomniac Games has not done anything bad. They just haven't when it comes to pure video games. I'm talking about stuff that you sit down, you don't take too seriously, and it's just fun. Moment to moment fun, really cool ideas, cool worlds, cool characters. And Sunset Overdrive, to me, was one of the most unique games to ever launch on an Xbox system. And not at launch, I don't mean when the system came out, but I mean just coming out on an Xbox, made for an Xbox for the audience. Now, I'm not sure what happened. I don't want to say the gamers on Xbox didn't support the game. Whether or not you think they didn't or they did, you can let me know in the comments section below. But for whatever reason, the game didn't do well on the Xbox One. And right around that time, it was the terrible, terrible launch of the Xbox One. Then, of course, the nonsense about resolution, which is funny to look back on now because with DLSS coming around, all the new display technologies and TVs and these consoles doing things that are absolutely incredible with post-processing post effects, it is absolutely a moot point at this point to talk about resolution. But... Sunset Overdrive, the rights to the game, they were just renewed by Sony, the trademark. And while that doesn't mean anything, this happens a lot, it doesn't mean that a game is coming or not, but I think Insomniac Games really loves this IP. They love the things that they create, and they I don't think they're willing to let this game go. I really don't. And I don't want to sound like I'm being sort of unfair if you're an Xbox gamer, but I do think that the PlayStation audience may support this game in a much better way now. Because I think games like this, you look at how Ratchet and Clank the last one did, and you look at how there's an expectation for certain types of games on the PlayStation that are whimsical, that are fun like this. Traditional platformers that sort of go outside the box and introduce new styles of gameplay like Sunset Overdrive did. I think this game is going to do better if it's relaunched on the PlayStation 5 say an HD remake and 4K with HDR, all the bells and whistles. I think that this IP can be something special. And I, you know, even though it's not going to be on Xbox, I wish I wish it's success because it is one of the most unique new IPs. And it's from a studio that always does things incredibly well. And if you haven't played Sunset Overdrive, get it and play it. You can still get it on the Xbox One. It's still one of the most unique experiences on the Xbox. And I just think it's a fantastic, fantastic game. Just a lot of fun. A pure gamer's game, a video game, all about fun. The colors, the gameplay, you know, just look at the look at the footage here. It's just so much fun playing this game. So if it does come to PlayStation 5, I wish it success. I hope that more people play it. And uh, let me know what you think about the reason that it didn't sell well on the Xbox in the comment section below. That's an important point. And I think it's worth exploring in a much deeper way. And think about liking and subscribing, sharing out on the, your social media platform of choice. And I appreciate everyone watching. I now have 16 subscribers. While it doesn't seem like a lot, and it isn't, it is good for me. And I appreciate everyone who subscribed. But let me know, again, what you think about Sunset Overdrive. I mean, imagine if they packed it in with the next Ratchet, sort of like a, you know, you get uh, in, you get to the HD remake of Sunset Overdrive with every copy of Ratchet & Clank. I know that's not going to happen, but something like that to reintroduce this franchise or, or even introduce it to a new audience because they wouldn't be reintroducing it to PlayStation gamers. They've never actually played it, but for that audience to get a chance to see something from Insomniac that maybe they haven't seen before or haven't played before and get that experience, maybe add in the haptic feedback with the explosions, there's a lot they can do with this game. And, you know, I'm talking myself into going back and playing it because I really, really think this is such a unique, unique game. And it was one of the most unique on Xbox, and it was a really important time. I mean, Insomniac Games had never done anything for anyone else but Sony. So let me know what you think about Sunset Overdrive.